the latest study on Colossians and Philemon, um, what kind of challenges did that present to you? I think the biggest challenge was the way that uh, Colossians, uh, they, 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 the issue that was being addressed by Paul in Colossians uh, isn't specifically identified. He doesn't, he doesn't spell it out in black and white, so you're kind of piecing together yeah. bits of the jigsaw, you're, you're listening to one side of a telephone mm. conversation. Uh, so, so trying to, to understand the, the, the problem he was addressing was a, an issue. Uh -huh. um, but perhaps the bigger challenge was the, the fact that his, his, uh, his treatment of, of the person and work of Christ in chapters 1 and 2 mm. especially take you into heights and depths yeah. of, of that wonderful t uh, doctrine that, that uh, need to be teased yeah. out for... The, yeah. for yeah. It's interesting how almost whatever the problem that appears in the New Testament churches that uh, certainly in, in the apostles' letters, they, they keep dragging the church back to Christ, don't they? And Colossians does that it, wonderfully. It, very much so. And, and, and it, it was a lesson that I think I began to learn too late in my ministry. Huh. You, you know, I found in my, in my early days as a minister, I, w I was focusing on the... Uh, the commands that were presented with in the Bible, uh -huh. we must be doing this, we must be like that. And, and it, it was, I felt too late that it began to dawn on me, no, actually, everything about the scriptures brings us back to the Lord Jesus Christ, that whether it's the Old Testament or the New Testament. What, uh, what clicked there or, or flicked a switch in your thinking, or was it just a progressive realisation that, somehow you, you were slightly off-center in your thinking about the gospel? I, I think as a, as a young pastor, I, I had this ideal that, that I wanted to be uh, correct in what I was teaching and urging my congregation to right behavior. Mm. And, and I, I, I think there was probably a, a, a hidden sense of pride behind that, the, 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 to be able to say we are, we are right and mm. other, other mm. professing Christians are wrong. And, and discovered that, that, that the more I preached in that way, um, the more hard-edged people became. Huh. Uh, and it was only whenever, or else the more discouraged people became because they realized they couldn't attain to the, the standards that the Bible sets. Mm. But whenever, whenever you allow the voice of Christ to speak from every text, whenever uh, you allow the, each portion of God's Word to bring us face to face with Him, you realize that it's only because of who he is and, mm. and what he's done for us that we can receive the commands mm. that God mm. gives and we can begin to follow where he leads. Yeah.